Hi guys, welcome to Chidre's Tech Tutorials Educational YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you find Programming Language Tutorials section. In Programming Language Tutorials section, if you scroll to the right side, you find Python Tutorials playlist. If you click on View Full Playlist, you find all my Python tutorials guys, where I am explaining Python in depth and step by step. In the previous videos, we started discussing print function in Python. We understood that print function is used to display data in the console or shell or other output stream file. In this video, we will see how we can use the print function to display data or print data in the other output stream file guys. Okay. We understood the syntax that print function has various parameters, right? We understood value parameter. We understood dot 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 parameter. We understood SCP parameter. We understood the end parameter, right? And we understood the use of these parameters. In this video, we understand the other two parameters that is file and flush. In this video, we understand the file parameter and flush parameter guys. So let's start. File parameter. File parameter is used to specify where the output should be printed. File parameter is used to specify where the values should be printed. By default, it is set to sys.stdout. By default, file is equal to sys.stdout. It indicates standard output. And what is standard output? The shell, guys. So, print function prints the data in the console, in the shell by default, guys. If you want, you can display in other file also. You can see here, we have the shell. Here we have our Python code. If I run the module, where output you see? You see in the shell. So print by default, printing the data in the shell. See, here I give comma and say file equal to sys.std out. That is the default value. Let me show it. If I say print bracket, here I say hello world single quotation comma p r i n t print. You can see file is set to sys dot std out. That is the default value, which indicates whatever value you give to print function, it displays that data or prints in the shell, guys. Okay. If you want, you can display in some other file. So what I do now? Okay. I am going to create one new file. I say file new file. I am going to save it. File save as. I save the file in the same default folder here. Here I say file name output dash file dot txt. I am going to save it as a txt file, text file. Okay. I save it. Okay. The file is saved. Now I am going to tell the print function to display or print the hello world in output file dot txt. How? Let me read the code here. I say with open. I am going to open a file for writing purpose. In single quotations, I say output dash file dot txt. Just now I created this file, right? Output file dot txt. I am going to open it for writing purpose. So here I say w, w for writing. As I say here file reference. Now what happens? This file reference is stored in the file ref variable, guys. So file ref variable indicates output file dot txt. Now what I do here, I say print. I am telling to the print function display this value or print this value called hello world where file equal to see instead of writing sys dot std out I am telling file ref file ref so I am giving the output file dot txt file reference to the print function now what print function does instead of displaying this hello world here in the shell it is going to put that hello world in the output.txt file. Let's run and see. I save this and run the module. See this time we are not seeing here a hello world displayed. Where it is entered? It is written in the output file.txt guys. Let me show that. I go to file, say open. I say all files. You can see here I have output-file.txt file. I am going to open it. You see in that we have hello world printed. Right. So that is the use of file parameter in the print function. It is used to display the data in the console. Print function is used to display the data in the console. By default, it is set to console. If you want, def definitely you can print the data in some other file by defining the reference to that file here, guys. 
I hope you guys have clearly understood what is the use of a file parameter. Okay, next we will talk about the flush. Flush is used to specify whether to flush the output stream or not. Flush is used to specify whether to flush the output stream or not. Output stream means this. Okay, the standard output stream, whether it should be flushed or not. By default, it is set to false. If you want, you can definitely set it to true. So here you can see, I have written import time. I'm importing the time model so that uh, I can display, I can add some delay in the code guys. Okay, see, I will write the code to explain. Here we have shell. Now I delete this. I'll say here import the time model. Okay, and then I'm telling print. What to print? It should display loading dot dot dot. And then I am saying here end should be space. It should have a space after printing. And then here I am telling flush is equal to truv true. After that I am telling time model sleep s l w -E p sleep for five seconds. So it is going to add a delay of five seconds. After that it is going to print done bracket close. Now I am going to save it and run the module. You see it is it has displayed loading. After 5 seconds it will display the done guys. See? Right? So flush is used to define whether to flush the output stream or not. By default it is set to false. You can definitely set it to true so that it completely flushes the output stream and then displays the next output guys. Okay? So that is all about the print function guys. I suggest you people to watch these videos okay again and again understand everything try it yourself you should try it yourself guys okay in my videos you get in-depth information of everything okay and remember you have to revise and practice so that you become perfect in python guys if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we we'll discuss more about python in depth and step by step guys for more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.